A promising new drug could soon transform the treatment of one of the most difficult and life-altering forms of multiple sclerosis. It's called tolibrutinib, and it's designed to do something that no existing MS medication has been able to do, directly target the slow, silent progression of disability in the brain and spinal cord, even when flare-ups aren't happening. With FDA approval expected in the coming months, doctors and researchers are calling this a potential turning point in the treatment of progressive MS, particularly a subtype known as non-relapsing secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, or NRSPMS. Solibrutinib is part of a new class of medications called BTK inhibitors, named after the enzyme Bruton's tyrosine kinase. BTK is involved in activating certain immune cells, including microglia, the resident immune cells of the brain and spinal cord. In progressive MS, these microglia become overactive. They release inflammatory proteins called cytokines, recruit more immune cells from the bloodstream, and begin destroying myelin and nerve fibers, all without the dramatic flare-ups we usually associate with MS. What makes tolibrutinib different is that it's designed to cross the blood-brain barrier, a tightly controlled shield that protects the brain from toxins and pathogens in the blood. Most MS drugs can't cross that barrier. Tolibrutinib can, and once inside the brain, it blocks BTK, calming the microglia and reducing the slow-burning inflammation that drives disability in progressive MS. In clinical trials, the results have been promising. In a large phase 3 study, patients taking tolibrutinib went significantly longer before their symptoms worsened permanently, approximately 31% longer than those on a placebo. Even more encouraging, about 8.6% of patients taking the drug experienced measurable improvements in their disability. By comparison, only 4.5% of those in the placebo group improved. Those numbers may seem small, but in the world of progressive MS, where treatments are limited and disability is expected to worsen over time, even modest improvements are a big deal. They suggest that tolibrutinib isn't just slowing the disease. It might be helping the brain recover some function. The drug was originally developed by Principia Biopharma and later acquired by Sanofi in 2017. It quickly gained attention for its ability to act on immune cells inside the central nervous system. By targeting BTK in the brain, it addresses the kind of chronic internal inflammation that most MS therapies leave untouched. Talabrutinib binds irreversibly to BTK, which may enhance its effectiveness. Other BTK inhibitors, such as phenobrutinib by Roche, bind reversibly, which could offer a better safety profile in some cases but potentially at the cost of potency. Another drug, remibrutinib, is also in development by Novartis with a focus on relapsing forms of MS. But among all of these, tolibrutinib is the furthest along in targeting progressive MS and may be the first of its class to receive FDA approval. Of course, no medication is without risks. In the phase the three trials, 4 to 5.6% of patients experienced elevated liver enzymes, which can indicate inflammation or damage to liver cells. Most of these cases resolved on their own. However, one patient required a liver transplant and later died from complications. Following this, trial protocols were updated to include more frequent monitoring of liver function, especially in the early weeks of treatment. According to Sanofi, Patients will likely need liver enzyme tests every week during the first 12 weeks. If those levels rise significantly, doctors will recommend stopping the drug immediately. Tolibrutinib also affects the peripheral immune system, which means it may increase the risk of certain infections. These could include respiratory infections like the flu, COVID-19, or the common cold, as well as urinary tract infections. That said, doctors report that the effects on the immune system are quickly reversible once the medication is stopped. With proper monitoring, the risks appear to be manageable, especially when weighed against the potential benefit of slowing or halting disability in progressive MS. So what does all of this mean for patients?
Dr. Veronica Cipriani, a neuroimmunologist at the University of Chicago, believes the drug could help a wide range of people, not just those who've had MS for decades, but even those who are just beginning to show signs of permanent disability. In her words, not only is tolibrutinib going to help patients who already have SPMS and have had MS for 20 or 30 years, but it could potentially help patients who are having clinical disability progression early on in their disease course. Similarly, Dr. Michael Kornberg at Johns Hopkins said, What's exciting is not just the effect on patients, but the fact that it shows we can finally target this hard-to-reach aspect of the disease the slow, silent progression in the brain itself. With FDA approval expected by September 28, 2025, patients may not have to wait long. If approved, tolibrutinib would become one of the first drugs capable of directly addressing the non-relapsing progressive nature of MS. It would give doctors a powerful new tool and patients a new reason to hope. For those living with progressive MS, a condition often marked by frustration and limited options, this could be the beginning of a new chapter.